Hey. <laughs> hey, everybody. There it is. Plead the fifth, Imperial Stout. The one you've all been waiting for. <laughs> mm. um, so I just want to clear up some things that people may or may not know about this beer before we get into tasting and talking about this beer. Um, there is no secret route. We have, we have nixed the secret route. <laughs> um, <laughs> Originally, when this beer was brewed, yes, there was a secret route, but uh, as years went by, I think after like the first year, when that 750 milliliter stout had the secret route. It did. And Plead the Fifth has no secret route. So let's just clear that up. And now we'll talk about Plead the Fifth Imperial Stout. Yeah, definitely no secret route, but um, <clears throat> the secret is in the taste. <laughs> yes. This is a wonderful tasting beer. Um, obviously, most of you know this is the beer that we age in barrels um, that we sell at Four Elf um, that people come and get from all over. Um, this is before it goes into the bourbon. This is the base beer. Um, it is the fifth in the series of five stouts. Comes out in February. Um, yep. Alcohol wise we're looking at what 11? 11% 11 ABV. Um, yep. And it's a big chewy imperial stout. More um, complexity than I really can say until I put it in my mouth. It is, the nose is so much already, you know, all those dark fruits, chocolates, coffees, caramel in there, burnt toffee a little bit mm -hmm. even. I mean, I, I love this beer. I do too. This is by far probably one of my favorites that we do. I don't have really favorite beers, but if this is on or bourbon imperial, those are the two beers that I, I drink if they're on. Um, yeah, this is the, it's really damn cold outside. Um, I want a beer with a lot of oomph. <laughs> um, mm. you know, it's just, Imperial there's so much stout. flavor, so you know, it's a little warming as it goes down. Yeah, not uh, too bad for 11 though. I think, you know, it's still on the palate, you know, there's, it's all the malt profile and all those know. complexities coming through. Um, this beer, when we make it in the brew house too, it's one of those beers that, uh, there's only a couple of these, usually the other ones that Aaron and I will get together on a whim and, you know, decide if we can make a beer so big that we can't shut the lid on the mash ton. But this one just in its production state gets to that point. Um, so, so it's a challenge on the brew house, of course, but, but, um, you know, the, the result is absolutely fantastic. So it's, it's worth it being able to, you know stay with a beer like this and, and have it turn out like this, this big and um, with this much going on. I mean, I, yeah, I don't have too much more to say about this thing, than, which hence the name, I suppose, is yep. just shut up and mm -hmm. drink it. It's so friggin' good. Yep, shut up and drink it. So yeah, fist out, plead, plead the fifth. Um, comes out in February. Um, we'll be out until it's gone. ABV around 11. Um, Great beer to sell or sit down year perfect two beer. years even you know i mean it's got everything going on as far as the hot preservatives are in there the alcohol is going to help that shelf life you'll see some of these flavors kind of mellow and mesh and yeah a little uh, bit of age know. gets you better yep. and better yep i mean six months is this is i buy my case and sit it at home and it's usually middle of the summer when i'm like ooh, play the fifth old friend huh yep <laughs> it's a nice cool night or something bonfire is going bam but but also all february long so but yeah, get out and get uh, Plead the Fifth Imperial Stout. Uh, obviously one of our favorites here at the brewery, and, and hopefully it's uh, one of yours there at home as well. So, And after you try this one, make sure you come to Four Elf and pick up Bourbon Barrel. Yeah. That's, uh, Plead the Fifth. That's dangerous. So, cheers. It's just so big. <laughs> it's a good fucking beer.